Dear students, today I want to discuss the topic of materials management in our operations management subjects. Before discussing of this particular concept, we already know the importance of uh, materials in a manufacturing process especially. On that, man materials management plays a very vital role. As from the concept, it is a scientific technique which is used with the planning, organizing and controlling of flow of materials. And uh, these are initial purchase through and in for the internal purpose of operations. Okay. The particular raw materials will be come from the different places. At the same time, the industries are also maintained effective uh, inventory controls. In this, materials management plays a very vital role. As from this particular curriculum, there are some elements in the materials management. As from the diagram, I discuss uh, about the demand estimation, procurement, receipt and inspection, storage, issue and use, maintenance and repairs, consideration and disposal. Okay. As from the first category is uh, how much raw materials are required as from the uh, estimation. As per the market demands, they are going to be purchased the effective raw materials which is very useful for the manufacturing process. Then the next category is procurement is nothing but the collecting. By way of purchasing of different raw materials, collection of raw materials very very important. And the third, and inspection. Is there is any qualitative standards? Um, is there is any uh, issues will be there in the inspection or examination process? They can identify the damage and other uh, disqualitative of raw materials. Then the next category is storage. Storage of raw materials is also very important. In some category of product manufacturing, some raw materials will be stored in some particular temperatures which may be a perishable or non-perishable nature. So storaging parameter is also important and issue and use. How much of raw materials are required? How much quantity is required as per the production process? In this stage, they can get into find. If there is any problems will be there in, in the maintenance. In already man, in previous classes, in third unit, we already discussed about the different types of maintenance. It's uh, two types prevent to maintenance and uh, breakdown maintenance in a maintenance concept they are going to be identify how many uh, resources of raw materials are required the next one is the uh, consideration means that the importance of raw materials if there is any raw materials in not only from the disposal point of view any particular uh, uh, manufacturing process disposal management is also plays a very vital role as the government will be give the permission for any industry they can also mention the disposal of their particular unnecessary items. They have to mention that is a better example of disposal of raw material. We are using different sports, shoes and uh, shirts and trousers. So these are all the disposal items of different plastic. Okay, these are the diff different, different examples. The disposal uh, uh, should be uh, in a re-engineering process, either re-engineering process point of view. Otherwise, it's disposal point of view, any particular platform is required. So, in that uh, MRP material requirement planning, so the concept is uh, it is designed uh, to add the manufacturer to the inventory uh, for the production management. Okay, they, it means that the manufacturer means that the production management should identify the how much raw materials are required in a production process. So the objective of this particular MRP uh, material requirement planning is to availability of uh, production is identified as per the how much uh, production levels is required as per their requirement they can maintain effective material requirement planning. The next objective is identifying the lowest possibility of uh, uh, raw materials uh, handling okay already discussed in the first unit uh, the importance of evoq the importance of different inventory levels then the manufacturer should identify the minimum uh, possibility of uh, uh, suppliers uh, prices okay they can identify the lowest possibility of uh, pricing of suppliers they are maintaining good contract uh, between the, from the manufacturer and the supplier then third category third objective is manufacturing activities and delivering schedule delivering the product on schedule in a purchasing activities okay 
maintain a good uh, efficient ROM um, manufacturing activities and delivery schedules within a time they have to mention the uh, sorry they have to manufacture the whatever the products there are some particular steps in a materials uh, requirement planning so it should be classified in three steps first step is identify requirements second step is running mrp mrp means material requirement planning then third one is forming the suggestions then in this uh, first step in this first step is uh, uh, they can identify the how much raw materials are required as from the quantitative so first one is in a quantitative on hand which means uh, how many raw material stock are available at present now in the industry point of view the production manager should maintaining proper records then next running quantity on uh, place of purchasing order quantity on open purchasing order okay they are how much uh, order they are going to give the suppliers of different raw material because in any manufacturing of industries they to purchase one category to manufacture one category of products they must be required different different uh, raw materials let's take the example in a sugarcane industries the basic uh, raw material is sugarcane then instead of sugarcanes there are some particular other components are required like uh, calcium which may be come from animal bones and uh, different different chemical components are required for the manufacturing of sugar in a sugarcane industries that's why i mentioned in a open purchase order the next one is quantity in manufacturing they can manu identifying the production manager should identify the uh, especially how much quantity is required in a present manufacturing process if there is any delay they have to maintain that okay delay of raw materials in industry which plays a very vital role stoppaging of working condition which going to be impact on the uh, it's going to be negative from the industry point of view for the delay of raw uh, for the delay of products then quantity in existing orders as from the orders these are the quantitative products are available or not they have to maintain the quantity forecasted how much raw materials are required for the future point of view they are going to be forecasted in our operations management we already discussed the demand forecasting means that identifying the uh, for uh, identifying the future requirement of your product in your present situation they can identify their quantity forecast is the one better example you can take that the thermal power plants the available stock of coal is uh, quantity forecasted because if there is any um, uh, non availability of coal in future point of view they are maintaining proper stocking of minimum 10 to 15 days uh, uh, for coal because of any uh, future uh, uh, manufacturing delay problem they are maintaining some spare of uh, raw materials which is necessary they can maintain it so these are all identify the requirements of materials requirement planning then next one is running mrp materials requirement planning actually it is uh, cat categories into three types so which is uh, three types means the critical items expensive items and delay items okay in a critical items is nothing but the particular raw materials means that maintenance a top priority which is mandatory for the manufacturing process without any delay they are going to use those particular raw materials so that is the classification spend these items means need to be spent up which means when compared to critical items it is uh, not that important but it is also important for the effective raw material uh, effective product manufacturing and delay items means that it may not be required it may be not vital importance but by using of this particular uh, delay of materials uh, which going to be increased efficiency so as on the category should be classified three types and where is in your forming the suggestions for point of view the first one is uh, identifying the manufacturing orders okay manufacturing orders second one is purchasing orders then third one is uh, uh, various reports okay from the manufacturing orders we are all the known that the uh, manufacturing orders the manufacturer is going to be manufactured the product as per the market requirements so the, by collecting of different different uh, 
uh, customers, not only direct customers, their, well, uh, their uh, business wholesalers, retail, as per their expectations, they are going to be manufactured the products uh, in a different categories point of view. And uh, in your manufacturing or orders also, we can know in a different types of uh, production, job order, batch order, and mass production. As from the necessity and market condition, the manufacturer is going to be manufactured some specific quantitative of products only, not maximum, not minimum. If there is maximum, the demand is uh, greater than supply, the price of product is uh, low. If the demand is less than supply, the price of product is high, which is going to be problematic in a monetary terms from the uh, top management point of view and problematic to the customer's point of view. So as per the manufacturing orders, they are going to be take the consideration and purchasing orders. So means that collection of different suppliers, uh, uh, raw materials, they are going to be manufacturing the products and various reports as from the market updates and other scenario point of view they can identify that okay so this is the mrp materials requirement planning in our operations management the flow of raw materials plays a very very vital role for the manufacturing of the particular products thank you